What's going on, y'all? Man, it's LA Rich, and we back with another video, man. And look, today we got the one and the only Charlie Kirk back on the channel with him doing a video it's titled Charlie Kirk Takes on Radical Liberal. Now, um, I mean, I don't know which way that this liberal can take as far as what she's gonna say or anything, but I mean, we're gonna find out once we get into the video, obviously. But before we do, what I want to say is Thank y'all so much for helping me hit 13,000 subscribers. Let's do a round of applause for that. The growth on this channel has literally been nothing but amazing, man. And all I got to say is thank y'all so much for all the love and support. Y'all show me day in and day out with this channel, the videos, everything all together, man. The support is out of this world. And it wouldn't be none of this success I've had on this channel and just YouTube in general. Will be possible with that child, man. In the short amount of time I've been doing YouTube, if you don't know, I've been doing YouTube for only about a year and seven or a year and eight months. So not that long at all. And the growth, this channel growing that fast is just completely because of you guys. So just thank you so much. But we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some more videos to react to, whether it's from Charlie Kirk or anybody else. And I got y'all with it, man. But hey, enough of the talking. Let's do it. That, um, but I'm gonna try to keep this simple. heckling. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm just gonna hope you respond in a way that's not so just conservative talking point and more of a conversation way. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so before there was a question about like Native American communities and treaties and stuff like that. And you were talking about how historically Native Americans have been kind of like screwed over by the US government and stuff like that. Don't you think that that history will impact how Native Americans live today and make it more difficult to succeed in America? Don't you think that would influence that? Well, I suppose a question I'll ask back at you. We've made tremendous accommodations such as sovereignty of Native American land, the entire department of the federal government dedicated just solely to that. Do you recognize that there's been great efforts to try to accommodate that? I recognize those efforts, but obviously they haven't worked. Because so why they haven't they worked? Because it's either not enough or the way that we're doing it is in, like we need to treat it more as an equity thing instead of just saying, oh, it's a culture, per like instead of blaming it on people's like individual working and like make like change it societally and help them in a way that actually matters. So you do know that there's universal health care at Native American reservations, right? Yeah, but it's not very good because they don't have access to... Because it's socialistic. No. no. <laughs> they, they have universal health care in plenty of European countries, and it works just fine. The, re the flaws of the Native American... So, so, so I'm curious, <laughs> how did... Hey, the whole place, the whole entire, um, wherever this is, podium, whatever, had something to had a feeling about that man. Vermont's experiment in universal health care go. I'm, I'm, I'm not from Vermont, so I don't know these things. I didn't hear your response. Say that I'm again. I'm not from Vermont, so I don't know these things. I moved here like two months ago. Yeah, I still I still can't hear what you said. Say it one more time. You're, you're wearing a mask. It's kind of hard. Can you say it again? I moved here like two months ago. I'm not from Vermont, so yeah, I don't okay. know these things. Right. So Vermont tried single payer. They had to abolish it. It was a total disaster. So look, I think the best way that to help Native American communities is to help all people through empowerment and education. Instead, we tried a heavy-handed government approach of intervention of the Bureau of Native American Affairs, of universal health care. And if you want to go see a socialist dystopia, go to a Native American reservation. I, I, maybe you have. Maybe you worked on Native American reservations before. I've been to plenty. They're, they're depressing. They're government addicted, unfortunately, in more ways than one. They're very, very corrupt. And this is something I want to ask you. And would you self-identify as a socialist? Is that fair to yeah. say? Yeah. Okay. Ish. I'm not a liberal. I'm, I'm more social. I'm okay. Socialist yeah. and liberal are different words, and I think conservatives confuse that a lot. They're completely different things. Okay. Okay. No, no we don't. So uh, I, I'm, I'm just curious, as someone who would say you're a socialist, what would be a country you think works well that's a socialist country? There are no socialist countries right now. There are no so has, it, ha has there ever been a socialist country? Truly socialist? No. Okay. So let me. So you your view your world view is on something that's never existed and currently doesn't exist. Is it too? Is it a? Is it a bad thing to be like pro change? Like people who lived in like only monarchies wanted democracy and stuff like that that wasn't like a bad thing 
Okay, so just just so we're clear. No. Um, yeah, the type of change you're advocating is horrifying. Um, but <laughs> so it's never existed, doesn't. And so I would say Venezuela, Cuba, North Korea, formerly Vietnam, the Soviet Union, those, were, those are not and were not socialist countries. Those country, the disastrous effects in those countries were directly contributed by U.S. intervention. <laughs> oh, so she blaming the U.S. <laughs> okay, that is a pretty crazy point right there. You blame the U.S. for these other countries. Wow, okay. The effects in those countries were directly contributed by U.S. intervention. <laughs> There was a, there were multiple coups done by the CIA in All these right, countries. All right, so let, let, let's take, hold on, guys, hold on. Let, let, let's take, what, let's just, I'm just curious. And So how on earth did Fidel Castro taking over Cuba have anything to do with U.S. intervention? There was plenty of, like, sanctions. Like, economically, Cuba was completely cut off. There was no, they tried to assassinate him plenty of times. There was no, no, so no. many things. I really just feel like so many people are so against the country that they live in and it's mainly america american citizens are so against the country that they live in but you will never see them say or want to just get up and go that they're communist yeah we had what to do with that we didn't have anything to do with that but we after they after a communist regime took over they had a yeah so yeah. let me ask you enough so so you're so first of all zimbabwe was not communist Burkina Faso, Thomas Sankara. Say that again. Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso. Before he was assassinated, he was actually How like... How about Mugabe? He wasn't a communist? How about Joseph Stalin? He wasn't a communist? He called himself How about communist. Mao Zedong? He wasn't a communist? Yeah. Pol Pot? Plenty of terrible people have called themselves plenty of different names. North Korea, oh, so you get North to be Korea the judge. Got it. Democratic. Okay. They're not democratic. Right, so I just want to make sure we complete the point. You believe in something that doesn't exist, has never existed, and even though the people that call themselves the things that you believe, you say they weren't really that, which is the most important point. Socialism is always judged against an impossible utopia, and they judge markets against a reality. And here's the truth of the matter, that markets, which you enjoy comfortably in Western society, is the most proven affluent creating machine in human history. And I would just challenge you to do one thing. Please stop believing in a utopian nightmare and start looking at things around you that are good, that are true, that are beautiful, that work, and are consistent with the natural law. You'll, you'll be a much happier person if you do that. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. That is true, man. I mean, just take life and appreciate life how it is, man. People go in too into the death about believing certain things or trying to side one way with the other. Man, just live life and enjoy it. Be thankful for what you, what you have. You know, just life in general, but... People in the comments, let's read the comments. Complains about conservatives talking points, yet only speaks in liberal talking points. I uh, to be young again and know everything and to be so certain of it. Um, let's see. She is not ignorant. She is straight up. In, she, yeah, she's very in denial. Definitely. Um, no wonder she's keeping her mask on. I wouldn't want people to see my face either if I was this stupid. <laughs> she's still not convinced that she, as she drinks her latte in Starbucks. <laughs> I must admit... Charlie Kirk nails it. Um, no, let's see. Love when leftists say universal health care works well for a humongous group, uh, for a humongous group of healthy people. Um, the sheer stupidity and entitlement. Okay. I mean, yeah, everybody really, you know, yeah. It was straightforward with this one. I mean, the, the girl really came in there and she thought she knew it all. With those people, you can't really have conversations or debates with them because they're straight up in denial when, when they have their mind made up on what they believe and what they think there's no change in it at all there's not even no hearing out of the sides i didn't hear her one time say i understand or i um i agree with this or that i mean she it was almost like she was just thinking of what comeback can she say next the whole entire time but hey thank y'all so much for helping me hit 13,000 subscribers, man. We in a row to 13.1 thousand. I appreciate y'all so much for the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly mean the most to me. Nonetheless, that's going to go ahead and close out the video. 
Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's LA Reason I'm getting up out of here, man. All right, y'all.